Blurred vision, vomiting, and dizziness, all a result of bullying. That's according to one Smithfield High School student. Now she's being treated for a concussion and a brain injury. Then at your size, Melanie Woodrow is here with her story. And Melanie, the school, are they investigating this? They are, Tom, and so is the Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office. Smithfield High School 10th grader Amanda McAlpin says that she's been bullied since the 7th grade. Now she's worried that this latest incident could have permanent effects. For 16-year-old Amanda McAlpin, school is a necessary means to an end. I dread it. I hate it. McAlpin wants to be a physical therapist. First, she needs to finish high school. I've had continual bullying and it's not easy. Her mom says what happened Friday in gym class doesn't make it any easier. She said um, a person beat me in the back of the head with a basketball. McAlpin says it was intentional. So I sat up, I was shocked, stunned, and when I started walking around, my vision was kind of blurry. And then eventually I couldn't see at all. McAlpin says she didn't tell her gym teacher or any other Smithfield High School administrators out of fear the bullying would continue. If I did, the bullying would just get worse and worse and worse. She did tell her mom, who took Amanda to the emergency room because she says she was vomiting, dizzy, and couldn't see. According to this medical report the family shared with 10 on your side, Amanda has a concussion and brain injury. But in my left eye, all I see is blur of color. Amanda admits that morning, prior to the incident, her eye was already bothering her. It was my left eye. I couldn't, like, read with it. Doctors told Amanda's parents the symptoms may or may not go away in six weeks. I'm afraid that I won't be able to get a driver's license or this is going to affect my career path. In a statement released to 10 on your side, an Isle of Wight County Public School spokesperson said, quote, the division's policy is to investigate all reports of bullying. Educational programs regarding appropriate student conduct take place from elementary school through high school. I would like to see the student at least suspended. I'm trying to make bullies realize that forcing their pain on someone else isn't a good thing. According to the Isle of Wight County Public Schools spokesperson, there is no video of this incident in question. An investigation by the school and the Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office is ongoing. Melanie Woodrow, 10 on your side. And investigators with the Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office said they will not release its report on the incident while the investigation is underway.